Hey guys, Jeremy Bayless here. Welcome to the channel, Bibles and Bullies. Do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. Stick around for a minute. Got a few different things for you guys today. Um, I'm going to show you my new project that I'm getting going on. Uh, this back here was my last airbrush brush project, so if you go back through the videos, you can see some of that. I'm going to show you the guys the dogs for a little while, go over some things like that. And at the end of the video, stick around if you are interested uh, in the Bibles portion of what I do. Um, I've been finding a lot of links to stuff, things that I haven't gone over with you guys completely. Um, I tell close friends about it, but it's just some stuff I'm going to share with you. Um, that's enough. Stay tuned. Yeah. Go somewhere else. Shit. Literally. Like, shit. Somewhere else. Please. <sighs> I just cleaned yesterday puppies they're little they'll soon they'll stop doing this I'm, I'm at the point that I'm having to get on to them now if they crap on the concrete because I really don't want them to do that they're at the point they should not be doing that anymore the other litters did it as well it, it's normal we deal with it and then they'll they slowly see the uh, big dogs where they go and then I also start disciplining them if they like if I see them okay well for an example uh, one of them this morning decided to crap right there right where Miko Mika's feet are and I was bringing water out to fill their dish so the grounds all wet because I poured that thing of water on him while he was crapping okay point taken understand puppy like don't crap on my concrete uh the rest of them <laughs> they didn't get that message yet so uh we're gonna spread the news here on the yard of uh don't crap on my concrete huh welcome to the channel bibles and bullies i'm gonna be doing a mural up here at screamers tattoo in dothan alabama so I'm going to go inside, I'll show you the canvas I'll be working on. Um, I'm going to be doing a truck, and it's got an eagle, rainbow, different stuff, little pond setting. Uh, all airbrushed on a wall inside. It's going to be on this knee wall right in here. It's like a 4x8 size. So I'll come in real quick, show you guys around real fast, and stay tuned uh, to upcoming videos. I'm going to go over some dog stuff with you. And if you're wanting tattoo work, come see Dave. Uh, he owns Screamers. He's open every day except Sunday and Monday. Uh, from 1 to 8 most days, 1 to 10 on the weekend. So, we're going to do a truck layout on this. Um, it's got a different, well he, he picked the setting for it. But it's got a truck, a rainbow, a little pond. An eagle in the background and an American flag. So it's going to be a full color mural. Uh, I got to base paint everything first and I'll get going on it soon. Uh, I just kind of got all my equipment going today. Hold on. All right. And I, yeah, I went and picked up some different paints today. Like I said, going to be doing a full color on this one. Um, I don't have a picture of. What I'm going to, hold on, let me see if I can get a picture of it real quick for you guys to see what I'm going to be. Um, it's just going to be a reference. I'm not copying it exactly. But let me show you what I got. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this will be the, the general idea. Um, I'm going to do the truck pretty large on the wall and the flag pretty much as big as I can on the size of the wall. And then everything else on it will kind of get spread out because this is a portrait photo and I'm going to paint it out on onto a landscape so pretty much going to take up the wall um, I just got to lay it out so that it kind of give it more of a three-dimensional look to it more depth and then that was someone's artwork so I will not copy it but we'll use it as a reference stay tuned
She said, what's up, Dad? Plus, <laughs> it's like, man, I got too many damn kids. Uh, uh, too many kids. Uh. <laughs> it's your fault, dude. Well, mine too. I allowed it. Uh. <laughs> Lightning. Lightning. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. Hey. Behave yourself. Go somewhere else and play, boys. Y'all don't be needing to, needing to do that around the pops. What's up, mama? You just telling her? Yeah. <laughs> She's my girl. It's usually like if she's not out laying, she'll be up sitting by me. While her daddy's always growling at everybody. Yep. Yeah. Get down, Polar. Thank you. Beautiful day out today. Fly, what are you doing? Like, fly. Hey, girl. I, I, you're on, you're on video, girl. Oh, everybody sees you chewing the chair. Come here. Come here, girl. Fly. Come here. Come on, mama. Oh, you're going to pretend you weren't doing anything? Okay. See how they are? She got busted and just sat her ass down. Hmm. Well, if you stuck around till now, guys, uh, I've been, I'm going to uh, write down a few things I wanted to go over. I'm going to start, uh, I think it's time to expand on my preaching, expand on the truth, um, expand on things that I see and hear, um, you know, It's a big, it's a big wide world. So sometimes you have to step back and look, take a broader scro scope and look at things. And when you do, you know, I, I tell everybody time tells all. Um, time has exposed many, many, many false prophets over the years. And that's why um, anyone claiming to be a prophet or whatever you are claiming to be, if you claim dates and they do not come to be, you, sir or ma'am, are a false prophet. And you are not to be feared. That's exactly what God's word says. It also says, let no man deceive you guys and ladies. That means uh, let no one deceive you. Not even me. Not your mother, your father, your children. When it comes to you and our Heavenly Father, you need to rely on Him solely when it comes important and, you know, when it gets serious. That's what I'm saying. It's getting there. Slowly. He also tells you 365 times. Do not fear. Have no fear. Oh, lightning. Yeah. So have no fear. All right, you two. Let go of my shoe. Come on. What's up, little man? What's up, cheese? He's always smiling. Hey, buddy. Dude's gonna be a little tank. Look at him. What's up, man? And his brother, Cheddar. These two, they're, they're pretty cool, for real. Those two are awesome.
Thank you. She's my shepherd. She watches over these guys and she teaches them and gets on to them and keeps them from fighting. And she's a very good dog. They all are. I have I have problems here and there. Like, you know, it's we have a lot of we have a lot of dogs. But very rarely, you know. If anything, they get upset over little things and then they rah, 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 and they move on and go do something else. But yeah, let's uh let's do a little longer video today. And um I'm gonna go over some truths with you. Some things that I've been uh, kind of thinking about Maybe it's for real. Maybe it's not but I'm gonna show you guys some links that I Tell my friends about um, That I sit and talk to face to face or on the phone things like that. I Don't share them with everyone You guys may or may not think I'm crazy. I don't really care either way I'm just again I'm not a church. I'm not your preacher pastor or any of those things I'm simply your brother trying to show you what I see. And I see a lot more than most. Um, that's just because I dig a lot deeper than most are willing to. I look at the dark side, the light side, and everything in between to figure out the whole story, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos today. Um, nothing fancy. Sometimes I have, you know, more constructive stuff for dogs. I need to do more training things. Um, I'm trying to get on it, but honestly, right now we're at the point. Uh, we have eight puppies that we need to find homes for. So if you're interested, please let me know. Um, they're not discounted. They're not free, but they're ready to go anytime. They're up to date on everything. Um, if you need delivery, I will do that for you. However, that's additional. Um, if you stuck around, I appreciate you guys. So what I wanted to go over with you was just like, I wrote some stuff down. Okay. I've been seeing a lot of links and things. Um, my mind works that way where it just sees links to everything. A lot of the time I feel like I'm linked to people as far as emotion and stuff like that goes. So my wife says, welcome to being an empath. Um, I believe that somehow, some way, God gave me at least spirit or foresight or sight, I guess. Doesn't mean I'm completely awake because I think the whole world is still asleep. However, everyone's slowly waking up. So I wanted to bring up something to you guys and just think about these things, okay? I'm not telling you I'm right. I'm not saying, you, believe me, I told you in the video, believe no man, let no man deceive you, including me. However, Jesus himself, he taught you, unless you're like a child, you can't get into the kingdom of heaven. Unless you're reborn, unless you're a child, unless, you know, it even says throughout the Bible that, or not throughout, but it says in the Bible that there'll be a time when men will be seeking children to understand the kingdom of heaven, okay? I have a lot of theories. I'm not going to go into all those today. Today, what I was going to do for you guys was just kind of put some links together that I've seen. All right, so... Bear with me, and again, I'm not telling you guys to believe me, but I want you to think about things, okay? You have to, sometimes you have to step back and say, what if, you know? Because unless you can imagine like a child, how are you going to get into the kingdom of heaven, man? Like, that's how I look at this, okay? We have to, you can learn so much from children. Just watch them. I'm serious. The animals can teach you. Children will teach you things you never knew. If you just sit back and watch them, okay? And that's where Jesus was trying to tell you, don't stumble the children. If you do, it would be better if a millstone was around your neck, okay? So don't don't stumble kids, man. Like, be constructive, disciplined, and so on, but let them be kids. You know, don't hinder them. Don't live your dreams through your children. Let them have their own, you know? You, if you missed your dreams, that's your fault. Let them follow their own. That's how I... That's how I've raised my kids, so far anyway. 
Not that I'm doing it right, by the way. So there you go. All right. So I, I wrote these down. The first thing, I mean, obviously, guys, it's a world wide web, right? That's why I always joke around Sam Spider-Man because it's a web, it's a web of lies, dude. A world wide web, okay? Um, that is, you know, the Bible tells you that this world is run by witchcraft, sorcery, and magic. And anybody that are practicing those things are, you know, well, it's detestable to God. So we're not supposed to be doing those things. Um, now, you know, I started thinking about things and then, you know, Jesus said, well, you know, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, then I would be doing, you know, and doing this and so on, but it's not. So, you know, I look around though, and something that popped into my head is, you know, like, well, it always says be no part of the world. Well, what world? There's so many worlds. Well, right now in our society today, we have Disney World, right? Be no part of the world. Why? And I've never been there, by the way. Don't want nothing to do with it. I've always had a weird feeling for some reason. Maybe I'm wrong. However, I think they're largely due. Uh, I think they have a big part in the child trafficking and so on that goes on around the world. Understand? So think about it. It's a magic kingdom. God told you to stay away from magic. I know they're fun to watch. I get it. I like them too. But this is reality, guys. They have signs, symbols, songs. Um, if you're a parent, you know there's all kinds of hidden stuff in all the movies. From Lion King to Aladdin. Uh, all of them. Every single one of them. They have all kinds of stuff. Okay, Whether you want to admit that or not, that's the truth. He said be no part of the world. So you have to start considering, well, what is the world? What am I supposed to be no part of? You know, what, what could be dangerous for that? And if you start looking at those things, pray to God about it, man. If you don't feel guilty, drive on, soldier. If, if you understand what I'm saying, pray to God about it. Ask him. Let him guide you. He's, he's your Jiminy Cricket. And I'm going to get to Pinocchio in a second. Um, and that, well, let's get to Pinocchio. So here's something. Watch the movie Pinocchio if you never have. They tell you exactly what's happening in today's world. They're showing you. That's what Hollywood does. They have to show you the truth and tell you the truth, but they show you in disguise, okay? Uh, all right, so Pinocchio. I want to be a real boy. Got no strings. I've said these things before throughout my videos, okay? Well, Pinocchio was a wooden boy that wanted to be a real boy. He was granted the wish to become a real boy. Well, then... They're taken away, right? Or, well, yeah. They're taken to these this play park. <laughs> to, to a Disney world, essentially. And they start sinning. They're smoking, drinking, gambling, doing all these things. Doing all the things I've done, by the way. Guilty. Not, not judging, but I'm guilty. <laughs> I'm guilty. The payment for sin is death, people. So we have to die, okay? We're all guilty. We were born into sin. We're going to die in sin. Uh, the payment for sin is death. You're welcome. Stop freaking out. Okay. But as they were sinning, what, what happened to them? They turned into a freaking donkey, man. A jackass. And I'm telling you, they're doing that today. They are. Um... I want you guys to listen to some Tom McDonald music. I think the prophets are some, not all, musicians, comedians, um, anyone that's actually telling you the real truth, those are the prophets in this world. Listen to them. Take value for what they say. I'm not saying to worship these people. Don't do what they tell you. But listen to the words. All the favorite songs in your past, go look up the lyrics. I promise you, when you read what the songs say, you're going to look at them differently, okay? You're being brainwashed, whether you believe that or not. So what I found funny is in the Bible, in the early books, like the, the, the Moses books of Torah, and another thing, you guys go check out Torah Light uh, channel on YouTube. I don't know these people. I just like them. If you want to find out, like, truth, 
those are places I look. But Torah Light, uh, I think his name is Michael, he teaches Torah specifically. He grew up a Christian like me. We're not that much different. He has a lot of dreams. I don't. Um, that's why I like his channel. I like to hear about the dreams and interpretations and so on. That's cool to me. Um, maybe it's not for you. Okay. Now, if you are a strong believer in Jesus, that's fine. I'm not telling you don't. Okay. I love him too. Everyone needs a friend in Jesus. Understand there, man. And when we get deeper, I'm going to teach you some more. <laughs> it's crazy. That's all. Or maybe I am. We all are one way or another. Let no man deceive you. So earlier in the books, though, check out Torah Light. But earlier in the Moses books, the first five books of the, you know, basically the law of the Bible, right? It talks about how the firstborn male, human, like, you know, male, your son, right? The firstborn male and the firstborn donkey, or yeah, I believe, both require a lamb as a sacrifice to be redeemed. So men, firstborn men, you're on the same level as a jackass already, just so you understand. So you have to, you had to be redeemed by law. That, that was the law. So that, for all of you that argue about Jesus, that like he was the lamb guys. He paid for that. He had to pay for all you, all you jackasses. I'm not the firstborn male, so I can make those jokes. If you are, I don't care. I'm just making jokes, man. Have fun, live life, enjoy. Like, look at the Bible, okay? Um, he says all throughout that their sacrifices will be in vain. You know, them doing, uh, making sacrifices will be like cutting a dog's neck. Huh, we talk about dogs here, don't we? Is that coincidence? I don't know, maybe. All right, so let's go over the King James Bible and what I think it did to this world. I'm going to lay some stuff on the table for you that you probably never thought of before. First off, if you didn't know, Revelation 12 and Daniel 12 go hand in hand. Study them, learn them, read them, understand it the best you're able. There's a million interpretations out there. Trust God, okay? No man, that's it. So everyone and everyone agrees that there was 400 years of slavery in the Bible, right? Okay, well, from the book of Malachi until the book of Matthew, that's a 400 year gap. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a what if. There's a 400 year gap there. You can go look this up on your own. I'm not telling you anything. I'm not lying to you. I'm telling you the best that I know. Okay. So between Malachi and Matthew, a 400 year gap. Well, that fits the 400 years of slavery, doesn't it? All right. So follow me. The King James Bible, which is 66 books, pretty much a number of a man. Um, I believe that's why 66 has chased me my entire life because it's like, hey, pay attention. You know, this means stuff. Well, I think it's always been really funny that a bunch of men determined that 66 books should be our Bible canon, okay? Then you have Star Wars, Order 66. That's <laughs> where they kill all the Jedi, dude. Same as the Bible, man. Like, the book of Revelation, they overcome the saints. The Jedi, you can watch Star Wars and understand the Bible if you look at it from Bible eyes, biblical eyes. Look, open your eyes, okay? All right, so now in our current history, the King James Version, the King James Bible, and I'm going to tell you why I'm going over this. The King James Bible was written in 1611. Now, if you were in 2021, that's 410 years. Well, 10 years ago, everyone started waking up around 2011. I've been awake a long time. Everybody told me I was crazy. So I shut up for most of my life. Then I woke back up too. I was like, well, something's not right. I see it. Hey, hey there, something's wrong, right? Well, more and more are seeing. 
everyone's waking up. Guys, that's 400 years. Slavery. So for anyone that claiming that the 400 years is for them, first off, we're all slaves, guys. We're all part of a beast system already, okay? When you're born, you're numbered, you're tagged. When you, when you die, they, if you're cremated, they bag you in a bag. They burn you, bag you, and clamp it off with a tag and a number, okay? So you're given a number at birth, you're given a number at death, and you're taxed beyond your entire life, right? Seems fair. Sounds good. They love you. <laughs> Don't believe me, though. Go, go believe them, man. Y'all go get your fifth booster, like turkey. Psh. All right, so here's my theory. We're living right now the, the New Testament. You understand the entire Old Testament was prophecy. Well, the New Testament is all prophecy of everything to come. It was already written. That's why they can't prove it because it's happening now. You're not going to know that it was prophecy until it's over. Welcome to the light. It's really dark on the other side. I promise you that much. I'll show you some light. You're going to get it. See right here? You'll get the light, man. You'll get it. It'll come. Slowly, you're going to be like, oh. It'd be like that song. Click, click, boom. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Your brain's going to explode. You'll be wide awake, and you're going to see everything I'm telling you. Now, pray to God. And do that on your own in your private closet. Don't do it and don't do it for glory. Do it to him, man. Just for him. That's what he wants. Just you. Just you. No one else. Ask him about this stuff. Ask him. See what he see what he tells you. See what he puts in your heart and your gut. Am I right? I don't know. That's what's in my heart. That's what's on my wall. That's what's in my gut. If I'm not right, I humbly apologize to anyone and everyone. We're living it now. Welcome to 2021. You don't really know what year it is because you only know what they tell you. You don't know what history is because the winner changes history according to how they want to. Witchcraft, sorcery, and magic is done with books and spells. So my proposal to you is that I really hope that the Bible, the collective works of all the spiritual writings are the word of God. However, I think they've bound them into a sword that if you live by, you're going to die by. Um, ever since I took my Nazarite vow, my life has been insane up here. I believe that's what the Spirit of God, Hashem, Hamasiach, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Truth, whatever it is that was placed on me, it was very intense, guys. That's all. I know nothing more. I... I I tell you as I know. And I've, I've held on to this stuff for a long time. Um, I can point out a bunch more to you. I love the Bible. I absolutely do. I think you need to know it in order to make it. But it says, if you live by the sword, you'll die by the sword. So bottom line, if you go out and murder people, kill people, not you can defend yourself. Man, read the first five books of the law you'll learn that you can defend yourself. You can even, I mean, for real, there's, read it, guys. There's a difference. You're not supposed to murder, okay? But if you're defending and protecting your home and your family, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're standing up and doing what's right for those that are being picked on and so on, there's nothing wrong with that. That's why in the uh, Constitution, we have the right to bear arms, that's why they're trying to take those things away from you, okay? Now, there's going to be a time when war will be no more. Your swords will be turned into pruning shears and your uh, 
or your your spears in the your swords in the plowing plowing plowshares and your spears in the pruning shears. Okay, because there will be no more time for that. But I'm not telling you to go to war. I'm telling you that it's time to stand, men and women. Do the right thing. Stand. You have a voice. Maybe it's small, but it's still a voice. It's still a light in the dark. And your light can be, man, brilliant to thousands, possibly millions over time. So stand up and use your voice, guys. It's your body, your choice. Stand up and make a choice. He wants you to do it from free will. Nothing more, nothing less. He said, give up your life for me and you will save it. If you fight to keep it, you're going to lose it. Fifth booster, people. You're fighting to save your life. Do you understand? You might lose it. Be careful. That's all I have to say. A few more links, and that's long enough for today. I want you guys to start seeing all the links for 13. Specifically, some that I've noticed over time. <clears throat> in music and so on. It ties into the Bible as well. Paul was your 13th apostle, essentially. Uh, Judas was 12, number 12. He died. However, he, he played a purpose too, guys. Even the devil, even Satan, they all play a purpose. Like when Jesus Christ selected Paul, or excuse me, Judas Iscariot, he knew what he was going to do. He knew where his heart was. Judas played a part. Welcome to the dark. He even said, go do what you got to do, man. And he got up and left. Okay? Like, it's already there, guys. Open your eyes and look at it for what it is. Put yourself in that position, in that time. Like, think about it. You know, like, how would I feel? If you were, you know, think about that stuff. Like, really, really try to put yourself in those shoes. Check out The Chosen. Like, that's a cool, um, they're doing a pretty good job overall. I like that. There's a lot of good stuff out there, man. It's a matter of what you take in, okay? But the links for 13. So, uh, Yellow Wolf, he's kind of a, uh, well, somewhat rap, hip-hop, I don't know what all. I just listen to different varieties of music. But he says something about King Baby 13, which is essentially like alcoholics and so on. Okay, um, you know, the 12 step program and then you'd have King Baby 13, I guess. Well, a baby, you know, because you just weaned yourself off the bottle. It applies biblically too. You know, you get into solid food, you get off the bottle. King 13. Then you got um, Offspring, the Offspring, right? They did a song, Pretty Fly for a White Guy. That's why we named fly, pretty fly for a white try, right? Well, <clears throat> they said, um, he asked for a 13, but they drew a 31. Um, the most pagan holiday in the world is Halloween on 31, witchcraft, sorcery, magic, once again, okay? Um, now, for the Bible, again, I said Paul was the 13th disciple, essentially, is what most can, would consider him. Who cares about what, whatever, right? Who cares about that? You are either a follower or you're not. You either look to God or you don't. You either look for answers, seek him, or you don't, okay? You're either like, God, please forgive me for what I'm about to do, and then you go do a bunch of crap, or you come to the realization of all the shit you've done in your life and you beg and plead on your knees in tears until, well, man, I do it still, okay? Stuff pops up. I'm like, oh, shit, man, I did that too. It, it's a constant. It never ends. Like once you're awake, well, you can either repent for what you've done or when you're like shook awake and not ready, you're going to wake to shame. And that's just what I kind of pray for is, hey, keep me, you know, I want to stand. Keep me from shame. I've been in shame enough in my life. I don't need it for the eternity after, you know. 
Um, like, yeah, I've been hated most of my life. I do good work. People like me for my work. They don't like me for my word or my opinion or my intake on what, what they worship. Okay? So, <clears throat> I'm going to end here today. My last link for you. We're in 2022. So, let's talk about 22 for a minute. Revelation, the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, right? If you're 66 books, has 22 chapters. 22. There you go. Is this year significant? Hell yeah, it is. Wake up. Yeah, it's very significant. It's not the end yet, though. In the book of Daniel, and then again referred to throughout the New Testament, it tells you about the abomination of desolation set in the holy place, okay? Well, no one exactly knows what that is, do they? It says, let the reader interpret. Well, I have a pretty good idea what it is. I'm not going to tell you today because I am I told you guys earlier, don't predict dates. Even Jesus was smart enough to say, I don't know the day and the, and the hour, only the Father knows, okay? He didn't even do that. So what are you jackasses doing that shit for, man? Maybe I'm the spirit of truth. I don't know what I am. I'm nobody, man. But I know better than to do some of that stuff. So you guys quit, quit putting dates. If I could prove the date to you, I would. But I can't do that. Like I told you earlier, we won't know until it's passed. But we'll know that it's coming. Because there's all kinds of signs as to what's to come, right? Pay attention. It's coming. Stuff is happening. All right, so we're in 2022. Now, I was the first wounded warrior at Fort Rucker. I don't know exactly which one I was as I retired, but I've always told everyone I was either 22nd or 23rd out. I don't remember. Now, yeah, said this before, uh, if I'm hung on a doorknob, I did not Epstein myself. Epstein, no. I didn't hang myself on a doorknob. I would go do it the right way at least. You know, I wouldn't do it that way. So they're going to have to get more creative. I'm saying if I, if I just show up dead, look at what happened. Check it out. <laughs> Don't really care either way. All right, so in the military now, I was 22nd or 23rd out. I'm retired. I've been retired since 2008. If you look up the veteran suicides every day, guess what? 22. All right, so I'm going to leave you here. You ever seen the movie 23? Jim Carrey starred in it. Pretty dark movie. He got obsessed about a number, 23. And then at the end of the movie, guess what? He killed himself, 23. The book of Daniel tells you, blessed is he who endures. Uh, I'm going to say it the easy way, 1,335 days. It's 1,303 score and five or something, whatever, okay? 1,335 days. Blessed is he who endures until then, okay? Keep that number. You're going to need to know it at some point. But you have to determine when the abomination of desolation was set up or what it is or when it's set up and you don't know that yet. I have a couple possibilities. I'm not telling you what they are. Just not. Maybe another time. All I'm going to tell you is we're not there yet. However, I expect a lot of people to die this year. I really do. I think the vaccine... Oh, the... The vaccinations, you know, those arm sticky deals they're doing, those thingamajiggers, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're a Trojan horse, okay? Meaning they're slowly tweaking your DNA. And as they do that, guess what? You're not going to be, or you're going to be more susceptible to every little thing out there. Your immune system's going to be shot. It won't be able to handle anything any longer, like simple stuff. And I believe that's what they've been doing with flu vaccines up until now as well. You're welcome. You've been fighting to save your life. You're going to lose it, guys. 
their poison in your air, your water, your food, all of it. Take it how you will. You got to die anyway. So, cheers. <laughs> <coughs> Omicron. Yeah, that's about it. This world sucks. It says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Because you felt sorry for you dumb bastards. All of us. Like, I don't know what else to say. I know I feel sorry for us. I feel, may I even feel sorry for Joe Biden's stupid ass stumbling around right now. Okay? I do. I see all the people making fun of him. And I'm sure he deserves it. But I still have this spot where I'm like, man. Ah, you know, I get it. So, build back better is their thing, right? Oh, BBB, build back better. Sounds like the Better Business Bureau. Hmm. There's all kinds of links in this world, guys. That's what I'm telling you. World Wide Web. Again, I'm just a little crazy. I'm going to tell you something a friend from back a while back told me. Batman and Joker are the same guy. <laughs>